Well, when you're out there playing the numbers, uh, it's Patrick Lefebvre who usually comes up on top in this uh, game. And that's because they have the strength in numbers in De Kooning Quick Step because you saw uh, also a lot of other De Kooning riders. We saw Philippe involved in that crash too, at least held up. And um, But then we see, you know, the attack by Yves Lampart uh, that, that sets up this move with Asgren. And then we see Philippe go and that puts Asgren further up the road. And, you know, all those moves take the toll on uh, the teams with uh, Walt Van Aert, who found himself without um, a teammate there in the final, and then Matthew Vanderpool. Of course, those guys are stars, but then uh, they have that one card to play, and if it doesn't work out, then what does the team do? Or we see with Elegant Quick Step to Kuna Quick Step that uh, they have these multiple options, and there we had the world champion uh, playing defense back there for Casper Asgren, who is riding away. And one note uh, is that uh, Matthew Vanderpool did notice that he was he was churning quite easily without effort in the group, so he could tell Asgren was on a good day. And of course, uh, we saw that in E3 earlier uh, a week earlier. So, Asgren, big win by him. Yeah, and I have to give a tip of the hat to commentator Matt Stevens, who was on our feed. I think that he just um, called the finish so so perfectly. Matthew Vanderpool, he started in too light of a gear in his sprint. I think that Matthew Vanderpool was expecting to be able to make just a really, really sharp acceleration, spinning a somewhat lighter gear, and you know just be able to get a quick one-second gap on Asgreen and hold it to the line. But Asgreen just had he, he he put out more power. He had a steadier sprint than Matthew Vanderpool or anybody could have expected, and. Casper Askren just turned a bigger gear in the sprint and overtook Vanderpool, and Vanderpool was, you know, spinning his legs to no avail. Just couldn't, couldn't cope with the speed that Askren was uh, carrying into the finish. I think that, um, you know, it was probably a little bit of Asgreen was just really strong and really really good in the finish, and probably the stronger guy won on the day. But I think that Vanderpool did miss mess up that sprint with his gearing a little bit and I think that Matt Stevens just nailed the commentary so uh, I imagine everybody here has watched Tour Flanders if you uh, for some reason have not though go back at least check out the final 1k See, it, it was pretty remarkable seeing such similar conditions for Matthew Vanderpool uh, from 2020 to 2021 of course Vanderpool was just doing a track style sprint with Wout van Aert Last year, this year, it was Casper Asgreen and Vanderpool did not pull it off. Uh, we were all pretty surprised, pretty amazed by it, but what a, what a ride by Casper Asgreen. Um, no, nobody is going to doubt him again, let's just say that.